Hi, I am Devjani Nath. Welcome back to my channel Craft Addict. Today in this episode, I am going to show you how to crochet this adorable ski hat. There are ear flaps here and tassels with tassels and I have made also pom pom here. This hat is for toddlers uh, for one to three years of age and I have used here this is herringbone half double crochet stitch and this one is only normal half double crochet stitch so it is very easy to make and I hope you will enjoy it and if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so that you can get the notification early I shall leave all the information in the description box below. Do like, share and comments. I will try my best to answer you. So let's get started. I am here using this two pink shades and this will be for the main color and this is for watering and we will need 4 millimeter crochet hook and some stitch markers also darning needle and pair of scissor also measuring tape and pom pom maker we also need this is about four inches a uh, peach board for making tassels so that's all and now i'm going to tell another thing this to yarn this is 100 percent acrylic yarn and this is from hobby store 100 gram yarn per skin and 100% premium acrylic yarn and here it is recommended to use 4.5 millimeter crochet hook although here I am also here although I am using 4 millimeter so let's start I am going to start with a slip knot and here I am using this double strand of yarn to make it more soft make your slip knot you can make it in any other way also I have made my slip knot and now make three chain one two three and now i'm going to make herringbone half double crochet i'm showing you into this first chain here it is a first chain first second third we have made three chain so in this first chain I'm going to make herringbone half double crochet yarn over insert your hook grab the yarn pull through and pull through the first loop on the hook yarn over pull through both the loops this is herringbone half double crochet and now we are going to make eight more herringbone half double crochet yarn over insert your hook grab the yarn pull through pull through the first loop yarn over pull through both the loops this is two yarn over insert pull through pull through the loop on the hook yarn over pull through both the loops 
this is 3. You can see we have made 3. In this way, we are going to make 9 herringbone half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have made nine herring bone half double crochet. You can see it. You can back count it also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now pull this yarn tightly. And now I am going to join with the first stitch. Here. Join with the slip stitch. chain 1 this is our first round and I am going to start the next round next round is same only we will make two herringbone half double crochet in each stitch one two you can now mark your stitch this is the first stitch one two so in this way make two herringbone half double crochet in each stitch at the end of this round we should have 18 herringbone half double crochet now i am at the end of this round two and remove your stitch marker and I'm going to make slip stitch chain one at the end of this round two we should have 18 herringbone half double crochet and now turn your work in this way and now in the first stitch we are going to make two herringbone half double crochet And in the next, make one herringbone half double crochet. In the next, make two herringbone half double crochet. In the next, one herringbone half double crochet. So, this is the pattern. In this way, we will repeat this pattern for the whole round 2, 1, 2, 1 in this way. Go and repeat and at the end of this round 3, we should have 27 stitches. So, 
go on repeat like this and I am coming back at the end of this round. I have come to the end of this round and this is the last stitch. And now I am going to make slip stitch into this first stitch. At the end of this round, we should have 27 herringbone half double crochet. Make chain 1 and now again turn your work every time after finishing the round we will turn our work. Remember that now again our next round will be in the first stitch we will make 2 herringbone half double crochet. and then one herringbone half double crochet in the next two stitches one two in this way this is the repeat in the first stitch two herringbone half double crochet and the next two stitches one stitch one herringbone half double crochet in each stitch again in the next stitch make two herringbone half double crochet and in the next two stitches one herringbone half double crochet in each of the next two stitches again increase one increase and then one herringbone half double crochet in the each of the next two stitches so this is a repeat and at the end of this round we should have 36 herringbone half double crochet so we will meet at the end of this round I am going to finish this this round. This round we should in this round we should have 36 half double crochet herringbone half double crochet and in the next round that will be 45. Since it is I am making this one for the toddlers about three years old. So I am going to increase one more round and that will be two half. Uh, herring, two herringbone half double crochet in the first stitch and one herringbone half double crochet in the next four stitches. You can understand it clearly now. So make chain one and turn your work and again make two herringbone half double crochet. The next four stitches, one herringbone half double crochet, in the first stitch, two herringbone half double, half double crochet and in the next four stitches, one herringbone half double crochet next again two herringbone half double crochet and in the next four one herringbone half double crochet so this round will be like this repeat this pattern and i am coming back at the end of this round at the end of this round, we should have 54 herringbone half double crochet. Now we have finished round 6. At the end of the round 6, we should have 54 half double herringbone half double crochet. And then it is now, I am continuing round 7. 
and at the end round 7 is no more increase only one herringbone half double crochet in each stitch at the end of this uh, uh, round we should have 54 herringbone half double crochet So I have come to the end of this round, round 7 and we should have 54 stitches and as there is no increase in this round and from this round, round 7, repeat this round 7 and this round 7 will be repeated and from this round 7 to round 12 will be same repetition of round 7 so go and complete round 5 more rounds and I am coming back at the end of this round 12 now I am at the end of the row 12 Join with the slip stitch. And now I am going to change my color here. I will be using a second color from here. And so on. I will be using this second color. For the rest of the rows, insert your hook like this. Pull the yarn and make one chain. Now the next row this row will be make chain 1 and this row will be only half double crochet row nothing complicated make one half double crochet in each stitch and remember you have to you should count your stitch at the end of each round that is we have we should have 54 stitches at the end of each round and another thing after ending each round here in the previous rows we have turned our work but from this round we are not turning our round we will normally increase our rows so make one half double crochet in each stitch and I am meeting I am coming back at the end of the round So in this way again we will start our next round 
in the first stitch make one half double crochet turning you don't need to be turn your work in the same direction we will do one half double crochet in each stitch so go on continue four more rows 13 14 15 16 and we will meet at the end of the row 16 where i will show you how to make the ear flaps now i am at the end of the round 13 i have made one round more as i find it that it looks better after uh, four rows i have made another row but i made five rows here uh, you can ma make it, it uh, it's optional you can make uh, four rows also and now i'm going to make the flaps your flaps from here i'm going to make 10 half double crochet one two three four five nine ten this is ten half double crochet chain one turn your work we are going to increase this side this ten half double crochet in the next round we, uh, we will decrease by one stitch in each round we will decrease by one stitch in each row so this is in the first row we have 10 half double crochet in the second row we will have 9 half double crochet then 8 then 7 in this way so in the second row i am going to skip the first stitch then going straight to the second stitch two three four five six seven eight and nine This is second row then chain one turn your work and again skip the first stitch from the second stitch one two three four five six seven eight we are decreasing by one stitch in each row
chain 1 and now cut off the yarn this is one side this is one side I have made up to four stitch here and we will do the same in this other side so you can do in this way also bringing it to the middle part in this side we will have another flap or you can do it like this I am going to skip 18 chains and then I am starting the second flap one this is the last stitch and so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. In this 19th stitch, I am going to start the second flap. Bring the yarn. Clean half double crochet, chain 1, turn your work, skip the first one, three, four. Now I have completed this side also. You can see both the side. And now I am giving a border of one row of half double crochet from here whole round. So, just keep in mind that in both the flaps, we should have same number of stitches. Now I have come to the end of this other side. Now 
join with the slip stitch chain 1 and cut off the yarn now you can see this is one side and this is the other side now this is the complete hat our hat is finished but we are going to attach tassels and pom pom and now I'm going to show you how to make tassels this is 4 inch pitch board and with this I will make tassel and take your yarn I am taking double strand of yarn here also two colors and wrap around the yarn through this pitch board in this way and I have wrap it 20 times now cut the yarn and make it like this take two yarns also one for the tying up this tassel and another for making it now remove the pitch board from here and tie the yarn It's very easy. Now cut the yarn. Now it is almost finished. Bring the yarn through this with the help of the hook. And now we will attach the tassel with the cap. I have already made one tassel, another one, and I'll be now attaching this two tassel. I have also made this pom pom with this pom pom maker. It's very easy it is written in the box how to make this pom pom from this pom with this pom pom maker and now i'll be attaching those tassels and pom pom Now I have finished my attaching the tassels and now I am going to attach pom pom. I will show you how to attach it.
I so I hope you enjoy it and if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so that you can get the notification early I shall leave all the information in the description box below you can follow me on the social media please check out the links given in the description box below on my Instagram account you will get my handmade products I make customized products also you can mail me also and thank you very much for watching